Day 244. In this video I will focus on the Luhansk region, and in particular on the southern part of the region. Here, after the Russians lost control over the Oskil River's eastern bank, they quickly regrouped and made another attempt to take these territories. Unfortunately for the Russians, this attempt turned out even less successful and the Ukrainians gradually increased the intensity of their attacks, gained some momentum and penetrated Russian positions in the direction of Chervonopopievka. And here is how it happened. As predicted, the Russians did not stop assaulting Ukrainian positions along the Oskil River's eastern bank, despite suffering a devastating loss. As you remember, the Russians tried establishing control over the area between Novosadova and Torske to leverage the geography and stop Ukrainian advancement. However, they underestimated the intrinsic weakness of their positions and got crushed from the flanks. Nonetheless, the Russians were immediately sent back to fight and take these territories back, because the Svatova Kremina defense line was still too vulnerable to allow the Ukrainians to get close to it. The Ukrainians also understood this, which is why they tried to waste no time and start pushing east. However, the rapid development of the counteroffensive was impossible. Many Russian groups were operating in the region, fixing Ukrainian troops, so the Ukrainians had to circumvent Russian assaults and develop their own offensive gradually. By the 20th October, the Ukrainians had suppressed Russian attempts to gain a foothold near Terne and Torske, and in turn managed to increase the intensity of their attacks. Russian reporting of the operating Ukrainian scout groups had increased, meaning that the Ukrainians once again started introducing uncertainty into Russian plans by significantly extending the grey zone. On the 22nd October, the Ukrainians decided to take advantage of the improved weather conditions and launch two attacks. The target of the first attack became Russian positions near Ploshanka. Their objective was to fix Russian forces while the Ukrainians were launching their second attack in the direction of Novovodyane. This attack aimed to improve their tactical position in the region and set the conditions for future advances across the river. In order to increase the momentum, the Ukrainians reinforced the region with armored vehicles. This allowed the Ukrainians to enter heavy fights with Russian forces in front of Chervonopopievka. As a result, the small village Plashanka is now under the Ukrainian control, but more importantly, the Ukrainians have established a very convenient bridgehead for developing their offensive further and storming the Svatova Kremina line. In preparation for the next wave of assaults, the Ukrainians reinforced this group with tanks and other armored machinery. The Ukrainians have also increased the concentration of troops in the region, which means that they are likely planning on opening additional lines of attack. The Ukrainians will likely launch these attacks in the direction of Kremina to secure their flanks and also fix Russian troops in the region. In the meantime, Ukrainian artillery has been conducting a lot of fire missions. Russian sources reported that the Ukrainians mostly use HIMARS, which means that the Ukrainians were aiming at very specific targets. The latest reports suggest that the Ukrainians targeted logistical infrastructure and areas of concentration of Russian forces in Svatove, Rubizhne, Starobilsk and a few other towns outside this map. This is a good indicator that the Ukrainians are once again trying to disrupt Russian logistics to decrease the amount of support the troops on the front lines can get before they start storming the Svatove Kremina defense line. If you're against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I'm doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols to not only show your support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next report.